Hello everyone. Today uh, I I am inviting uh, Guglielmo Poli. Hello Guglielmo. Hello Caroline. Thank you very much for the invitation. So I am a, <clears throat> I am a certified practitioner of reconnective healing and the reconnection, and I am also an international instructor of the reconnective healing and the personal reconnection. And you, you are my director, the director of uh, Reconnective Academy International, and also the director of The Reconnection. But who are you? <laughs> Please tell us. Uh, this is a very good question, Caroline. Uh, this is a fantastic question that it's really, if you know who you are, this is unblocking for you so many doors, so many doors. Who am I? This is a very good question because it's the most difficult question that you can do to someone because everyone of us, we can de describe the perception of ourselves. Maybe I can tell you that after my personal reconnection, for example, I'm much more decisive, so I can catch my decision easier and quicker than before. I can uh, absolutely tell you that uh, um, I am much more focused on my goals. I can tell you that I am a magnet of every kind of situation is making me evolving. I can tell you that it's changing, it's changed my uh, wellness, uh, health, that changed my mental clarity. So I can tell you a lot of details, but these details are like I'm watching myself externally, like the third observer. This is interesting because telling who you are even if you are telling just your name, Guglielmo, is doesn't meaning anything, because Guglielmo it's you know your present name that your parents gave you when uh, you you were born, right? And there is nothing else than a name. It's a tag, okay? Useful, you know, to call yourself and be called by the others in the human's duality interactions. Who I am? We can discuss about the titles, director of the academy, practitioner like you, etc., and uh, instructor. This is the most beautiful part of the job, you know, observing how the people is changing at the train programs. But of course, you are not even your title because a title is just a title in this society. If uh, really mm, something is happening uh, politically or geologically into the world and we are returning back you know, to the zero, the title is zero. Your name is zero, okay? Even your state, like I can tell yourself, oh, I have blue eyes, I have you know, brown, red, <laughs> blonde beard. I am tall, 186 centimeters. Even this is not counting a lot, okay? Because our body is just, you know, these, these guys, this uh, uh, vehicle that we are using here in the three-dimensional space to do this experience of... Duality of uh, polarity of being uh, uh, thinking to be something different in comparison of what we are in truth. So, if your question is who you are in true, I have my theories, but I can't tell uh, you something like the truth, okay? Because 
the theory that I like best is that I am a part, a just a little spark of the one that because was not able to recognize himself because he was one, so it was not possible for him the observation on himself of all his qualities and all his, uh, you know, characteristics, etc. Decided to create the duality, the two, to have a mirror. So I can tell Caroline who I am. I'm you. I am every one of the people that they are in uh, listening or watching in this moment. I am uh, uh, all the human beings and maybe also non-human beings into this planet and in this galaxy and in this universe and maybe in the multiverse. Okay. It's interesting. I'm reading, uh, I just bought a couple of days ago, the last book of Carlo Rovelli that is a very important uh, theoretical uh, physic. Uh, he worked a lot in the University of Avignon and in Marseille. Mm -hmm. And now he's in Canada and he's an Italian expert. Uh, he's speaking about the white holes. We are normally, you know, used to think about the, the black holes that are absorbing uh, everything where the gravity it's so high that is blocking the time and is blocking the the, the and it's uh, curving the space also white holes it what is present at the end of the horizon of the of the black hole and this is a very interesting theory so we can be black and white holes at the same time we can be, you know, magnets to attract what we are in true and express what we are in true, okay, at the same moment. Um, it's very interesting because we never thought, we are never thinking, we are never thinking with the mind about who we are. And actually just a few minutes ago, because I was thinking to speak about reconnecting healing, the reconnection, the difference, and all the, the things that we are doing all during all the presentations. And you said to me, well, I want that you are speaking about who are you. So it was not prepared anything. Really, you pushed me to a position, not just of self-observation, but self-observation of the idea that I have of the universe, because actually we are the universe, all of us. We are part of this infinite consciousness that is, uh, that is us, that is actually us. And if you're asking me uh, why I'm so certain, it's because I'm having this kind of experience when I am having my self healings, okay? So in self healing, when you are observing yourself, putting again the attention with the reconnective healing frequencies on yourself, what is happening to me is not strange registers like the eyes, like the fingers. I'm going into a deep meditation in which I am one with everything else. And this is one of the most beautiful, better experience that I really can uh, wish for everyone, okay? It's very, it's fantastic. And this is something that also our friends can very easily learn to into the one experience, into the Catalyst program. It's so easy that then it's becoming automatic, okay? For us having this kind of experiences. So who I am? I am this, uh, this uh, little spark, but it's holographic. So the wrong perspective that the philosophies, that the religions are telling you that you are a little spark of God that is big. Big and small are not existing, actually, because the dimensions close to the black holes are also, you know, um, changing the the laws of what is big, what is small, etc. Because the universe is also a hologram, okay? 
and the all little pieces they are containing inside the hologram, the all wholeness of the same uh, hologram. This is very cool. This is very cool. And thank you for the for the question because really um, trying to don't think about who I am and trying to just be and expressing it with words that they have to pass through my brain and being, you know, organized in a certain way and in a language that is not my native language. So all the English speakers, sorry for my mistakes, but the most important thing is that you are catching the ideas and I'm sure that you are doing because I'm teaching all around the world in English. So. <laughs> That's and, a beautiful uh, answer. Yeah, okay, so it is the, thank you for the inspiration, Carolina, actually, because uh, it is an inspiration that was missing a little me to me today because I was in the in the tempest. I was in the hurricane of the duality because you know being writing and receiving emails, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You know my job uh, yeah. that is not just job to teach reconnective healing. It's a job, you know, uh, also like manager of all of that. Um was keeping me a little out of, of the consciousness. And thank you very much for the inspiration. I hope that uh, this was what you expected. <laughs> and if not, <laughs> I hope that it, you liked the surprise. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you. I have another question. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, because <laughs> like, like me breath. <laughs> Okay, today, what does it mean, love, for you? Love. Love, uh, I think it's the trick of the universe, okay, to make you, to push you to find yourself. As every one single person in this universe is also you, in the universal, uh, let's say, love, concept and it's not just you know a man with woman etc etc it's not just the partnership and it's not just the relationship but it's also in the relationship because if you think when you are having a love I mean the couple relationship you are finding parts of yourself in the other and the other is finding himself in you it's a reciprocal way when you are having sex is the same thing okay so you are connecting and you are being one with the sexual energy that is just one subset of the energy okay of it of itself of what is okay etc cetera, etc cetera. um love if we have to observe um with the concept that we already spoken about is the desire of the universe to know himself. And this is creating the relationships between the human beings and not just with the human beings. Okay. So um, even uh, when you are in an argument with someone is love because it's permitting, you know, uh, the one to know better himself uh to observe himself in the duality and then return to himself with another consciousness and uh, i think this is love so when we are facilitating a session of reconnective healing for example and we are reminding to our practitioner to our students remind yourself that you are love they don't have to fall in love with the person on the massage table or we will open you know an agency of meetings and we are doing at least something much more easy okay absolutely not they have to feel that they are the person on the massage table even if they are you know stepping up few meters ago moving the hands 
and observing. Observing with love is observing, understanding that you are the person on the massage table. You are not just having empathy or wanting something for the person. It can be healing, abundance, etc. It's much more big, it's much more greed than, uh, than the concept that we have normally. Thank you. Thank you. It's beautiful other question. So in your body, where your breath is, we used to say that there is love too with the in the thorax, you know. And how it is for you this? So there, there is an interesting. Uh, you you know that uh, I'm uh, also a very interested reader of the sacred books and of the old traditions. So you are when you are speaking me about the this breath that is the life of a person. It makes me remember uh, the concept of ruach. Ruach is the Jewish. Uh, Hebrew word for uh, the breath, but it's not just the breath, it's the breath of the life that God is gifting you, okay, because you are just material, this is the spirit. If you know ancient Greek and Latin, okay, and uh, you know that the concept of spirit, okay, it's the wind, it's you know, the movement, that something that there is no present and then is present, and even if it's invisible, is moving something. For many, many years uh, in the philosophy and also in the religions, they called spirit the soul, okay? That were two very different things, actually. Okay, the spirit is the life, the soul is the part of the universe that we've spoken about. And of course, the soul is bringing the spirit. So where is the breath? We are used to connect it with the air that is coming inside your nose and expanding the lungs and oxygen our life. Of course, this is a beautiful metaphor, but uh, uh, actually the spirit, this breath, it's your curiosity about who you are, because this is the life. Is this curiosity that is making you living and living cautiously? It's giving you the gift to be aware that you are curious about it. Living unconsciously is making you doing automatic things that maybe the society of today really wants to push you to do in an automatic way, in a very robot style, okay? But it's still present. Also the experience to be without the spirit, also the experience to be like a robot. And this is what they want, that they are bringing us to, to this, okay? Connected with a fucking cable and living in a virtual reality without a job, without eating healthy things. This is very clear that is happening, okay? For everyone is conscious of that. For everyone is unconscious, oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's the progress, good. But in any case, it's bringing you to the evolution. And evolution is knowing more and more parts of yourself. So remember to breath when something is happening around you because this will bring you more clarity about what is happening around. And um, I know that is something different than uh, what normally is said, but also the ego has a part in it. The resistance of the ego, okay, but an ego driven by the soul managed by the soul is permitting us to don't 
permit the others, okay, to put their boot on our face. Hmm? I seen, I seen very, I love actually the French people because uh, they have still this force that is coming from the revolution of the 1789, okay, that if something is not working in the country, they are going and they are making them understanding to the politics that is not working. And then sometimes they are having some success, sometimes not, because, you know, the political egregores are too strong. But uh, I, I love the French spirit because it's very active. <laughs> Thank you. It's very interesting, uh, your thoughts, when you are speaking about it. And I'm never telling that is the truth. It's just yes. my opinion. <laughs> you know that who is selling you the truth, I think, is the first liar. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was uh, asking you this because when I came for the first time, my first program of Reconnective Healing, it was 10 years ago now. Uh, the first thing I, I, I felt was an enormous joy coming into my, my thorax, very amplifying the space. And really, it was incredible because just before I was living the worst period of my life, the, the same, in the same day, and it was so huge to feel that connected with uh, reconnective healing frequencies. But why I, I was asking you this? Hey, you see, you, you asked me something from your perspective. I spoken about something totally different, but the, the two things are matching. <laughs> that, that's a beauty. <laughs> Thank you. It's interesting. This is yes, interesting. but I, I love that because we, we can see how, all how differences. So... Yes. Can you, what do you want to say to end this uh, interview, Guglielmo? What I want to say, I want to say, you know, to the people that there are critical times, that are times in which a jump of consciousness is, uh, is needed, actually, okay? A transformation of our life, it's uh, not just uh, one... Uh, 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 let's say it's not not just one desire. It's really a very deep, uh, how can I say, responsibility that uh, I that we have, all of us, all around the world. So my suggestion is really quickly uh, having your decisions for your life, having your decisions in uh, um, in your job, in your relationship, etc. And maybe also one of your relation, one of your uh, decisions can be, you know, to start to interact with the reconnective healing with a session, with a reconnection, coming to the training programs we have in uh, in Bordeaux. The next training program is France. Okay, uh, we have a training program in Montreal in French. Okay, so it's very important for all the people that they feel that something really is happening and they need not just an instrument, not just a tool, but really a deep understanding of who they are and what and why we are here and they are doing this experience, I really suggest to consider it because uh, to me was really a life changer. You know, and these words life changers, I know that they are very used in marketing, but it it was true to me. I changed the whole life, and you know my story, and uh, it's uh, it was very visible and clear this change. So that actually is not a change; it's a return to yourself, to the real yourself that is you, your essence, and uh, this spark that is driving you in this human experience. So it's really modifying the quality also of your life. And this is a beautiful, beautiful thing I, that I really suggest to everyone. Thank you very much. See, 
Merci, thank you, thank you everyone. Th thank you, thank you, Caroline. So see you soon around the world. And uh, really, I am so amazed always that we are doing this kind of interviews because your question are your questions are never you know the same of the others and they are bringing me again to bright again in uh, in this consciousness so thank you very much for your excellent job around the world excellent uh, uh, for being just you bringing energy light and information bringing reconnective healing uh, in your beautiful way all around the world. So a deep thank you to you and all your beautiful team because you created a beautiful French team and yes, it is, it is the future. Thank you very much, Caroline. Thank you, Guillemot. Bye-bye. Bye, bye-bye. Bye.